So it's July 17, 2020, and it's been a couple weeks since we put our honey super on. Um, I didn't take a video of the last time that I was in here because um, I didn't have my, my cameraman, Trey Watson, here. But um, I put the queen excluder in here, and we'll show you that when I get in, into the hive. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to open up, probably take that box off, take this, the deep super off. Maybe pull a couple frames out and see how they're doing. Um, and then what we're going to do is the, the bees tend to cluster towards the center of the hive to build comb and store honey. And what I want to do is I want to move those frames that are full on the inside and move them to the outside so that the bees will basically fill the whole hive um, without just concentrating on the center and not dealing with the inside. So. Got some bees in here. I'll pull out one of these uh, honey super frames and I'll show you what it looks like. I was in here about a week ago and the bees are doing a pretty good job about building comb and filling them up with honey. So these, these have been in here for about two weeks. And as you can see, this is almost completely done full of honey. And it's, this probably weighs, I suppose, five pounds just by itself. But right now, that's that's production honey right there. And so they're, all this white stuff, it's called capped. And uh, when they have it capped, that means they won't go back into it again until winter or until we harvest the honey in the fall. So we got that one. This one looks actually even a little bit more. Full. So we'll pull that one out and I'll show you. So these are the center frames on the Honey Super. You can see this one. Not very much capping on the on the outside of it, but if you look on the inside, that one's almost completely full too. So I think they're making really good progress for the size of the brood and how new they are. And then by contrast, what I'll do is I'll show you an outside frame and what the difference looks like. The bees really do not care that I'm here. I haven't seen any of them come out of the hive at me. Well, that looks actually really good. So that's an outside frame. So they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So that was on the outside of the deep suit of the honey super. This is on the inside of the honey super. So these guys are actually doing really well. So I may not move these because they look pretty good. That one looks fantastic, actually. So this one, wow, look at that. This one, look how little they have on that one. There's nothing on that one. They have a little bit of comb built on that one. So for some reason, they're not touching a couple of these center ones. I'm not sure. Maybe it's about uh, the cooling of them. I'm not sure why they would go to the outside and then not the next two frames, but we'll move these things around a little bit and try to adjust how much work they're doing on these. So I'm going to put this empty uh, comb on the outside that was empty and then hopefully they'll start working on that one. That one looks good. That one's a little skinny, so I'll put that one towards the inside. That looks good. This one looks good. Now if you notice when I'm working in these uh, frames, I'm moving everything kind of slow because I don't want to scare them. Uh, we want to kind of just keep being their friend and let them keep working. The less we disrupt them while they're doing their job, the better. Okay, so I'll show you this uh, outside one here. So this is a very outside frame in the Honey Super. They got some comb built on it, and the actual outside of it, they have none. So they haven't gotten that far yet. So what I'll do is I'll put that towards the center, and then take this almost full one that's on the that was on the center and move it towards the outside. So and that's going to help them 
fill these out a little quicker. So we'll put that one out here. Now, my friend uh, Rick Case asked me the other day, um, how am I doing with mites? And to be honest, I don't really know. I haven't seen anything that looks like anything other than a bee in here. So I don't think I need to worry about it. I'm gonna pull off this top honey super and see if I can see anything that looks bizarre in there, but I don't think I will. So let's take it off, we'll check it out, and then we'll... So holding this up probably is I would guess 35 to 40 pounds right now. And I would say before I had anything in it, it was probably 10 pounds. So they've added quite a bit of weight to this thing in two weeks. So as you can see here, the honey super, or the, not the honey super, the, uh, this is the queen excluder. This is designed to let the drones and the worker bees through, but not the queen, because she's too fat. So we'll put that off to the side for a little bit. We're gonna pull out the um, the feeder we're gonna pull that out it's empty been empty for about three weeks now so we'll pull that out and then we're gonna put in a another frame in here just to make sure everything's cool you hear me felt the buzzing noise so what I'm seeing here is they the hive is very full in here right now and uh, Trey I don't know if you can get in here or not if you look in here, see how it's connected? All the comb is connected inside here. So I gotta find out if I need to pull those apart or just leave them alone. Um, typically, the space between these frames, uh, when they're sitting in here, is large enough for the bees to be able to move back and forth. That's why you don't want too much space because then they'll connect it and then they can't move as easily through the frames. So we'll stick a new frame in it and get stung for no. Good. So I'm going to move these frames out a little bit and then put another one of these empty ones in the center in order to help uh, fill this out a little bit more. I guess I could pull one of these out so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to get a little further in here and we'll pull one of these out. Now you gotta remember, this is not honey storage here. This is strictly for uh, the queen to plant eggs and for the bees to uh, keep making more bees. That's what these two deep keepers are for. So let's pull this thing out and I'll show you what it looks like. So, on the outside here, it's capped honey, but where it's kind of a darker yellow, almost a brown. Um, this comb will continue to get darker as it ages, uh, just because they're bringing in dirt with them and they're moving in and out of them. And uh, it's not a bad thing that they have that at all. It's just a matter of fact. So that's the other side. I guess I could look for the queen. I don't see her on here. But you gotta remember, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen of these frames that are um, made just for making bees. So, and if you can look in here, Trey, you can see how much they're clustering inside here, and inside the super. It's kind of dark, but you can see them. Yeah, maybe I can pull off this top and you can see a little better. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the size of the brood and uh, we'll probably pull off this, uh, this second super here just to take a look. I don't really know where the queen typically would like to hang out but just by my quick glancing I don't see her on, the, on this one.
the wood is swollen a little bit. So it's uh, not letting me get this frame in there. So I think what I'll probably do is just leave it alone. We added one more frame, and so I'm okay with that. I mean, what I'm trying to do is make sure that uh, they don't create a huge cluster of hives in between these. You can tell their action is getting a little more aggressive. So I think I'm probably going to close up the hive. They're starting to get a little more frenzied rather than just walking around slowly. I'd appreciate that. Yeah. So, I think hive production is good. Um, the two bottom supers are doing really well. And uh, we have a lot of activity going in and out of the hive and a lot of the production being done with the honey super. I'm guessing I probably will need to add another honey super here in the next two weeks, because they'll have that full up, or at least close to full, and then they'll need room to store more honey. Because right now, all the, high, all the frames are pretty much full. So, we'll just put this back on here. Okay, and then we're gonna put this bad boy back on. Can you hear them getting louder, Trey? Oh yeah. <laughs> so they're, I think they're getting done with me. They haven't even bothered me though. No, it's gonna be mad at me. Yeah. But, um, as you saw, there's a lot of honey coming in the super, so that's pretty awesome, considering this is their first year. I've been asked, people have been asking me, are we gonna harvest our honey this year? And I don't know for sure if that's what I wanna do, mainly because I want to be able to build brood more than I want honey production. So if I get to the point where we have enough brood this year, I'll get another hive and we'll have two hives out here this year, but I'm not sure on that one yet. So, that's the story we got. We have a lot of activity down here. And uh, I don't see any mites or bugs or anything that would indicate that things are unhealthy inside the hive. But that's just my inexperience talking. So, that's all we got for now. Thanks for watching.